What's up you guys? I'm here with a new video today and I'm here to talk about my friend Joe Bogley's uh, plus one fire fist deck. He went 12-0 in Swiss with this deck. It's absolutely insane. He was one of the three undefeateds running what he calls plus one fire fish. People don't know. Um, go and check out uh, once again Jarrell Pro Winston's video. Pro Winston got all the videos, you guys. I'm just uh, you know sending them back this way, and so you guys will go check out his channel. He got all of them, like literally all of them. He got a good interview with Joe, and this was just a really great deck to profile. You know, big shout out to him going undefeated in Swiss, the first YCS of like a new format for us, and doing it with. Not your normal Fire Fizz deck. He said it himself. This is not 4-axis. This is not 3-axis. This is not 3.5-axis, whatever you want to call it. This is what he calls plus 1 Fire Fizz. Um, Dalton Bowsman won the ARG. Uh, Nashville was something very similar to this. And he, Joe just said he practiced with the deck a lot. He wanted to eliminate the one problem that Fire Fizz does have. Fire Fizz is a very consistent deck. I honestly believe it's one of the best decks of the format. And I know a lot of people will agree with me. The thing is, is that the deck can get those kind of dud hands in a way where you'll have a leopard and you'll have to summon it. You'll have to use leopard to get a tanky, tanky to get a bear. But then if you don't have a tensu or anything, you don't have a follow-up play. You don't always get spirit leopard every time. I mean, you get it a lot, but it's not always the ideal play. Joe basically just wanted to eliminate any bad draw this deck could get. He wanted to make the deck consistent. He wanted to make the deck aggressive, and he wanted to make it be able to combat the meta. He main deck hand traps. He main deck everything, including the one Thunder King. So I'm just getting into the deck. I just want to give a big shout out to him, and I hope you guys will be sure uh, to you know if you have him on Facebook or whatever or whatever you know just congratulate him on going 12-0 in Swiss. Uh, he finished. He lost in the top eight of draft, but draft is draft is as random as anything, so you can't really count that. But I honestly believe. He continued going. I honestly think he would have been the YCS of the Land of Champion if he was just playing this deck because he was beating everybody all day. So I'm just getting into the deck for him. And be sure to check out uh, his sponsor, No Voltage Gaming, uh, High Voltage Gaming in uh, Connecticut. I'll have a link down below to their Facebook page. Be sure to check it out. I have an annotation up here for you guys to visit. Uh, he just wanted me to mention that for you guys. So I'm just getting into the deck right now. So three bear, standard, one gorilla with fire fist engine, two car card D. Basically the plus ones of the deck, car card D, you know, draw two cards, plus one, really good. Uh, three wolf bark, cards crazy, um, you know, getting back, making your rank fours, really, really good. Uh, you run three of them, so just a solid card. And then uh, two effect bailer, two maxi for hand traps. A lot of people question why he main deck maxi. Maxi in this deck, he said it was he wanted to have an answer to like 3.5 access to uh, heretic rulers to any like deck that special summons heavy, especially if he lost the die roll. So this was just another way to get around those problem uh, those problem decks. And then the one Thunder King is Thunder King is solid as anything in this deck. On the spells, a staple Book of Moon, staple Dark Hole, two Gaioku. This card is absolutely insane. This is like a better MST. It locks down the card. Your opponent cannot respond to it. It is just the nuts along with three Typhoon because you just lock back row. It's like locking one back row, Typhooning the other. Locking the one back row they have, they can't respond. Pretty much over right there. This card is just amazing. Plus it gives your... Uh, Beast Warriors, uh, 100 point boost, so that's great. Uh, three tanky staple. Uh, he said in the video with Jarrell that he only he found he only needed one tensu, and that, that was enough. So that's really cool. Got to cut down on multiple tensu so that he could get his plays off. Like I said before, he's not running Rooster. He's not running um, Dragon. He's not running. Um, any of those other Fire Fist cards, so uh, the one tends to uh, put in enough work. And then two lands, so his attacks go through, three Typhoons, staple, two duality for consistency, and as we all call them now, three Patrick Hobans, uh, 37 card deck, makes the deck go really fast. You look at this with three upstarts, two card card Ds, two dualities, you're really getting to your cards uh, pretty fast. And the way this deck plays, it's just very very fast and it's very stun oriented, so it really handled everything. And then his trap lineup is a nice streamlined trap lineup, uh, one bottomless trap hole, triple Phoenix chain, double mirror force, one warning, one tarantula. So that's it for his main deck was 40 cards. Onto his side deck, uh, two DD Crow. Uh, DD Crow is really good this format. Uh, hurts a lot of decks, hurts a lot of rogue decks. Uh, really good against Heratics. You can uh, DD Crow away their vanilla target in the graveyard. You can uh, hit like 3.5 axes. You can hit their Leopard or whatever their spirit target is. Spirit's dead. You pretty much win. Uh, in Zectors, Dark World, anything that has monsters in the graveyard, they're trying to get back. Crow just puts in work. Uh, two Blackhorn. Card just amazing. It's like running extra warnings. Card just too good. Don't even have to explain it. Uh, one Dust Tornado, as you said, simple spot removal. Uh, only one copy. That's all you need. You have the three typhoon the two gaioku so uh dust tornado is just there as extra spot removal for back row heavy decks uh two light mirrors uh bujins light decks stuff like that uh three mind crush uh basically against spell books against any deck that searches this format it's pretty much every deck so uh my is a really good call uh you know you get knowledge of your opponent's hand and then you can just play around their hand from what you remember so really good card really good call he man three of them so he was he was saying a lot of cards all day 
Uh, two mistake, he cut one of the mistakes. Um, this card is just amazing. Um, neither player can add cards from their deck to their hand. Uh, mistake's crazy. This card is just amazing. It hurts so many decks. It hurts, like, the entire meta right now. So this card's great. Uh, two overworked for, uh, you know, Fire Fist matchups and stuff like that. Uh, good against the Zectors. He even said in the video that he beat Medulce with it because they got their uh, Chateau out. So they ended up having the extra 500 boost. So he just overworked and they're all gone. So really cool. And the one Soul Drain hits multiple decks. Uh, water, um, Heratics, uh, Bujins, all kinds of deck like that. So really, really solid for the side deck. And just on to the extra deck. Uh, double Dweller. He would have ran a Giant Hand uh, if he could have gotten one. Um, but Double Dweller. Um, double Cardinal. He said the uh, Cardinal came in handy having two of them. Two Tiger King. Uh, staple. Uh, the one, uh, Kagasuchi. This card still resolves over Light Imprisoning Mirror. Watch the part of the video where Jarrell talks about it. It's kind of funny. I didn't know that either. But uh, Bujin Kagasuchi, really solid card. Mill 5, you know, Basically a maze stroke effect, so really good. A dire wolf spot removal. Uh, one of the brothers of destruction, as he calls him, the evil sworn excite on night. Your Raigeki in a monster form. Uh, the one cowboy, the one maze stroke, uh, the one arc, the new card, so good. Uh, one black uh, ship of corn, one crazy box, and one steel storm roach to complete the brothers of destruction. So that is it, you guys. That is Joe Bogley's uh, top eight YCS Atlanta deck profile. Uh, you know, there was a draft, so we're not going to do any of the draft decks. It would serve no point. But the main point of this video is he went 12-0 in Swiss. That is such a high accomplishment. It's very hard to do that. You know, imagine going through and never losing a single match. It's absolutely insane. Um, he hasn't traveled in a while. He feels good to be back. And, you know, big congratulations to him. Uh, he's a good friend of mine, and I'm very happy for him. And this deck is just solid as anything. Like, you guys just can see, he really tried to eliminate any problems that this deck would have. That is why it is called Plus One Fire Fist. You do get a lot of pluses off of your cards. Maxi can ha net you pluses um car car d can net you pluses cards like this can just net you pluses tanky gets you to the cards you need and your monsters just you know get through everything so this was a really solid deck really good job joe congratulations uh once again i'll have a link uh, down below to his sponsor be sure to check them out uh he does vending and there's uh, a lot of cards and stuff you guys can get there so be sure to check that out and like them on facebook i'll have a link to the facebook page as well and i just hope you guys enjoyed his deck profile this is only fire fist one i'm doing it's not really fire fist it's plus one fire fist so definitely had to do it plus he, he unless he asked me to so hope you guys enjoyed it thumbs it up and thank you for watching